me to see a lot of people that spread rumor on him even when he's dead. You understand? They do them own autopsy and talk say him bring girl go up a, a motel and boom and Viagra him take and that kill him. They do them own autopsy so they're not waiting on the autopsy to tell what happened to him. Hello and welcome to Stargazing, the show that brings you up close and personal with your favorite stars of reggae and dancehall music, Jamaican popular culture and people who've impacted society in a very big way. I'm Sean Kane. We invite you to subscribe to the Stargazing with Sean Kane YouTube channel, like and share the videos and leave a comment. We welcome our radio listeners in the UK. In this edition of the show, we'll welcome back the legendary dancehall artist Hitman Wally, who was a confidant of the late Leonard Merciless Bartley. We will spend some time looking back at the life and work of Merciless, who was found dead in a Kingston motel on the 19th of July, 2022. Let's take a look. Hitman Wally is a legendary dancehall artist who released several chart-topping songs between the 1990s and early in the millennium. He met Merciless in the mid-1990s at the heights of the Lend Out Me Mercy hit and the two became very good friends. As they pursued their entertainment careers, they often ended up making music at the same studios. Hitman Wally eventually produced some of Merciless's records. One of the latest productions will be released by Sony Music on the 19th of August 2022. The Spanish town based Hitman Wally remembered the Mavis and Mama's cooking hitmaker as a very kind person who looked out for his friends. He said Merciless would do anything he could to help anyone who was in need. Merciless was born in the small community of Turner in Chapleton, Clarendon in the summer of 1971. Among the highest watermarks of his career was a lyrical clash at the annual year-end showpiece event, Sting in Jamaica, around two decades ago. The warhead arguably outperformed Beanie Man, Ninja Man and Bounty Killer on the same night. His career allegedly took a nosedive following his unrivaled performance at Sting. Hitman Wally told the Stargazing with Sean Kane show that Merciless was sidelined on several occasions for shows and other commercial opportunities. This and other events in Merciless's personal life, including the sudden death of his wife Keisha Gibbs Bartley in Longville Park, Clarendon on the 3rd of April 2015, had had a profound effect on the entertainer. He spent the rest of his life trying to come to terms, but really never succeeded. In order to help himself to cope with these deeply heartbreaking experiences, Merciless turned to the bottle. Hitman Wally acknowledged that although Merciless was a heavy drinker, it did not affect his ability to record and perform coherently. He expressed amazement at the way the old Gallus would demonstrate his lyrical dexterity in the studio. He was always energetic and confident. Following the news that Merciless was found dead in a Kingston motel on the 19th of July 2022, rumours filled the public domain. The race was truly on to try and explain the circumstances leading to the transitioning of the Clarendon-born entertainer. An upset hitman Wally has expressed disappointment at the passing of his friend and dancehall fraternity brother. His disappointment became worse when several distasteful rumours about Merciless's lifestyle and subsequent demise began dominating different social media platforms. As a result, Hitman Wally has agreed to sensitise the public on the Stargazing with Sean Kane show about a side to Merciless to which not many people were privy. In the meantime, several artists, including General B, have paid tribute to the Galdem Gizada entertainer on Instagram. A musical brother, a friend. I mean, I say, I'm going to donate a lot to the music industry from them times until now. And I'm saying, my name is Leonard Bartley, aka Merciless. I'm just finding them hotel people. I would just want to condolence to the whole family. And I mean, I say, on behalf of General B, Boombox, everybody. R.I.P. Leonard, you don't know. 
up to the time of recording this show, the cause of Merciless's death had not been published. Welcome back. Hitman Wally, what go on, sir? Yes, my brother. I'm here, you know, you know, keep on putting in the work as you do, you know. So yeah, man, I'm happy to be here once more again on this program. Well, it's good to have you, man. And, uh, you know, I see that you're putting in the work because from time to time I see things on social media. You also send me music. So I know you're working, man. Never, you know, uh, retirement for you. <laughs> you know it, come on. You understand? You see, yeah, once yeah, yeah. in this life, you know, you have to keep the fire blazing. I always said that. Yes. You know? yes. Yeah. And for a man like you who's been around for a little while doing it, it's like this is second nature for you. So just to sit down and not doing anything, I mean, come on, it's just so natural to get involved. Yeah, you see, music is my life, you know. So if I can't see myself without music, yeah. You know, it's what? like, you know, me or somebody else that, you know? Yeah, but as you mentioned, yeah, that's my as you, you mentioned, know? the thought came to me. Have you done anything else apart from music? 95 no <laughs> you know i did have a business but you know yeah 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 all right so you're, you're, like that, I it, so. you're a musician man you're a musician but you know what it's under kind of a sort of dark and sad circumstances that we're meeting for the second time on here because the dance hall has lost yet another of its stalwarts merciless yeah man it's sad it's sad it's really sad me i tell you you know and mm -hmm. it's unexpected it just happened just out of the blues. Yeah, because, you because none of us was, you understand, we're looking at this. Mm, you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we never knew or say this coming. Mm -hmm. You understand? But it's yeah, up. man, is a big shot, man. Big, big shot, mm -hmm. may I tell you. But then, how did you learn about the passing of Merciless? Because I gather that you were quite close. How did you know that he died? Well, um, I was on the road, you understand, you know, getting some music work done and, you know, when I came in, I checked my message, I saw a text from Lady G, said that, ask if it's true, merciless, dead, you know, so, I said, no man, I say people like, people always spread the room up on merciless and things like that, so I said, nothing wrong with some, you know, so, I say, all right, you know what? I'm going to make a call. So I make a call. But when I call um, Fresh, you understand, a long time friend, you understand, we are merciless from back in the days. When I call Fresh now, Fresh tell me, said, yes, while you are true, may I look on him right now, lay down on the ground. Wow. You understand? So, so what, what did that do to you when you confirmed that, yes, merciless is gone? When he said that, it shot me, shot me away that um, the way me shot me, I say, look for the man, say, boy, um, talk to you later, me and you will talk. Because he was so, you know, like upset and the phone, I ring off and everything, you know. So it shot me. So when we come off of the phone now, me have to say to myself, oh, what is God? Me and the man talked about five days and we are making a plan to do promotion and him sing away him record for me. You understand? Can he record two songs for me you know, and my label? One combination with, you understand, both of us, and a combination, no, a song with him alone, right? So the same version when I tell you about Fresh, three of us sit down and, you know, we pencil out the song and, you understand, we steer the song. And we said, yes, it this. Right, so this song really is no one, you know, we are planned for people this song. And um, Sony said that they're going to release this song, the 90, right? And I was going to tell him that this song going to release the 19th the August, you know? So at the time when I saw Mercy Lesson, right, I was at the studio that time when I saw him. You understand? So he asked me that he wanted to do a double it, you know, if I could just come out the studio and make him, you know, him come in. You understand? But I respect him. So, you know, that's all the conversation start now. 
You understand? I may tell him, so boy, may you with her. You understand? I'm going to call you. I'm going to drive, come on town, link you up, and I tell you about the promotion and the whole thing. Me, you not get to tell him nothing, say, so many of them deal with the artwork and the three songs. Them said I'm going to promote on it. His theme song, you understand? And Lady G and the other rest of the artists, them being them on the panda really. Me not get to tell him nothing. How has right? that made you feel? It made me, it made me cut up, man. It cut up inside because you want me now. You say, true, me know this struggle are merciless. How did you two know each other? How, when did you meet? Ah, uh, good question. Um, in the early 90s, right, I went to um, Pentos. I am Gaddafi and Action Fire. You understand? We were friends. Friends before Merciless. So I record for Gaddafi, you know, a song when he got Dog God, Baby Father. Right? <laughs> and then shortly after that, Merciless come in that time. Right. When I record the song. Right? Gaddafi said, find the artist and rate it. And we say, all right. So four of us start up spine. Right? So that's how I get to know Merciless. Now, what, sort of, know, what, what sort of person was he like? Was he very friendly, very kind? Was he selfish? Was he always not sharing or sharing? Or, you know, what, what was he like? He's a sharing brother, man, may I tell you. And, you know, he's a jovial type of person. You know, that's why you see him lyrics, them build up away there. You understand? We look at joke and look at something. You understand? Yeah, he's a them type of person. And him kind. Because I'm going to share this with you. Right? Um, we used to do a lot of walking. When we foot tired and we can't walk no more, we say, yo, walk, we know we're going to take bus. And when we take bus, <laughs> sometimes I tell you the others too, my brother, see, we don't have no fear because I you know it back in those days we are trying to forget when you're out there. Right? So we jump on the bus and we just make a plan and say, well, we're going to roll up with face and Make some road boy pose and them something there. You know, and we just talk something when a bus. So when the doctor come down with the money back, like Professor Nutsan, and the doctor say we know. The doctor have a fear then himself, you know, look for me and merciless now, action fire that have in pass road we start collect fear from other people. You understand? It we do it we do it for a time till merciless start take taxi. You understand? And still him bus. So the struggle was on. Remember one time we walked from downtown and when we reach um, um telephone company, right? And oh, King them, yeah, you used to have the phone box where people used to line up the call. Because them time they never have cell phone. You know? So we there and you know, thing and hungry at kill with, right? And merciless. Him have, I think I don't remember if a fifty dollar I'm up, right? And him take all the one fifty dollar and say, boy, hungry, you know, man. Him say, boy, buy one bowl with this, you know. And we just broke it in a tree, you know. And he just divided the tree and then we make the sky juice, man, water. And I saw we drink and cool on the hungry. So it's a long history with this, Virginia, what we may tell you about. Merciless. You understand? And that's why you see me feel it much because me watch him grow, you understand, from a minor star to a huge star. You know? Yeah, man. You watch him kill all bounty killer, kill Beanie and kill Ninja one time. <laughs> <laughs> I never did this thing at the time, you know, because you are, you know, me and every artist are friend. Me a bounty a friend, me a beanie a friend, and whatever, you understand? Yeah, but one thing I love about Merciless, um, you see the clash thing, after you see him come off a stage, yeah, you and him can't talk, you understand? You and him can't talk, I'm not a clash thing, see you. Oh, so you know, care. you do any man ninja man clash, you man ninja man, ninja man come and your wife set up and a whole heap of something go on, you understand? Yeah, so... Even the last time, me and Merciless, we have a conversation. 
good conversation because how him can come back into the business. I'm not looking at clash thing for bringing him back into the business anymore. Because he was was um he stressed out about a lot of things. He stressed out about the music industry, how the music industry treat him from him clash. You understand? Him stress out about that. Him stress out about the rumors that people are spread and say. Him a drive taxi a foreign. You understand? Him stress out also about the rumor where people are spread and I say him a cokehead and him a crackhead. You understand? And knowing that him only main stress where him have is him wife with death. As, as, as you mentioned that, um, you mentioned about the rumor machine, you know, sort of turning and churning out all sorts of things. Did he have a troubled life? Because that's what we understood, that he had an alcohol problem. Is there any truth? Yes, yes he have alcohol problem. And a lot of people get it misunderstanding and start saying, I'm a cokehead and I'm a crackhead. Nothing like that. So, I can stand so here. You have a drug problem. So you didn't have yeah, a I can... crack cocaine. You never had that problem. You never have that problem. Those things is life. You might have a drinking problem. You're watching the Stargazing with Sean Kane show and we're speaking with Hitman Wally. He is a legendary dancehall artist. We're spending some time on looking at the life and work of the late Merciless. Hitman Wally has been quite close to Merciless. They recorded together and they shared lots and lots of time as good friends together. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in just a moment. Yeah, to the world, this is Tal Majila, you know. Bigging up Sean Kane, the man who promotes music and the culture of Jamaica like a hurricane has stormed the world. Yeah. So Tal Majila is saying that's the thing. Big up Sean Kane and, and the star gazing. See? Rock the world now. Rock the world now. Bro, come at Stargaze teach you how to up. Sean G, tell them. No weakness. No weakness. No weakness. Yo, Sean Kane. They don't know energy. Up and personal close. Get there. Two by ten man a move real fast, yeah? This is the boy Master Record, the girls them checker. You're watching the Stargazing show with Sean Kane. Up and personal. Brrrr. Two by ten man a move real fast. That's why my can't stop touch her now. I fall in love with the touch her now. Oh no, Father Nakin's boss. Watch her now. You're not in tune to Sean Kane and the Stargazing show. Welcome back. You're tuned to the Stargazing with Sean Kane show and we're spending some time with Hitman Wally. And he is a dancehall, a veteran dancehall artist. He's also a producer. And we've been spending some time talking about the life and work of Merciless. So we know Merciless passed away on the 19th of July 2022. Right, tell us about the drink. Because uh, my wife dead because all the industry used to treat him, you know, him used to drink, but it never so bad, right? But him wife, when him wife did him take it on a different level, it's like him can't come back. Ongo, Ongo thing could I make merciless come back if the business give him like a number one thing. You see, like all oh, them are, are blew up when him dead, you know, and them are send out this fan Facebook and I send out this fan. You understand? You understand? And them are playing him song hard. You understand? The only thing could I bring back merciless from alcohol right is if them did have give him this justice it would have make him kind of cut back from certain things it would have men the, the thing what him lost with him wife it would have men all of those things and bring back the real person well it seems good well, from what you've been saying sorry to cut into what you're saying there but it seems that most of his troubles emanated from the passing of his wife he said not even get like the same wife and wife funeral. I, I guess they they bring him wife um to foreign, so the body to foreign, so him not really get to see. So all of these things them last. Remember, say after that thing, you know, right? Him did have a house at town where him never finished being fine. They understand him. They have set him life and build a house a country for him mother, right? 
So him have a house at town where he must set, right? And when him go to Florida now, right? To try to up some money, right? In vehicle where him have him have a 30,000 US, him said him have a And then stole the vehicle, like somebody knows that the money in it, stole the vehicle. And not only the $30,000 in it, his passport also in it. So him gets stuck America. So I saw him start drive around now with this weapon now. If you look, if you oh, you understand? You say, what, 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 what weapon are you talking about? You mean like a gun? Yeah. Yeah, the same gun where them said them all with. So I saw him get police, see him with that, and him get charged and him go to prison. You understand? I saw him go to prison, come back. You now, when you know him last, that that also had never finished people. You understand him last, everything. That's so. You understand? So when him come back, he might try to make it the thing up, man. His wife come and discover him again. So his problem back a problem. You understand? In a film case, no man would want in a film shows when it comes to that. So when you see all of these clashing things, you see people like, you know, them winning and all of them something. Them never right up here, so never really stay. We just I try and I need the influence still, but I'm try if he come back. Did he look understand but did he look like a man that was in need because he had mental health problems? Did he look like that? Um him never need, you know. He never in need. You understand? And he talk very conscious, very intelligent. You understand? Yeah, because trust me, and I really like him on a phone. You understand? Him bright, him know for talk. Sometimes you might hear him talk away, but trust me. Yeah, he's an intelligent dude. All right, man, sure. You see? You see? The business. The business will love the business and things like that. But the business full of rumors. And you see, rumors. It will kill you and it's full of negativity. You see, positive things, people don't promote the positive things. And I guess in his case, everything, if he loses a clash, the world hear about it and it stink up about it. You understand? You understand? While they don't know that he's in a problem where he try to get himself out of that because peace, stress, I got through film life. Sometimes people we, we will see an artist, you know. An artist will see them on the stage or the video or whatever, and we feel it's a life all right with them. Some of them have some serious family issues. Some of your people have spread rumors since him dead, and I said, Why? Him hungry and they broke and whatever. I'm never hungry. It hurt me to see a lot of people have spread rumor on him, even when him dead. You understand? Them do them own a attacks, attack, say, him bring girl go up a, a motel and boom and Viagra him take and a dad killing them. I do them own a tap, so them not waiting on the autopsy to tell what happened to him. So you're not, dis you you're not dispelling that, you're just saying that it's not been confirmed because the autopsy report has, is not out yet. Not being, a, you understand? Hitman Wally, you did admit or acknowledge that Merciless had a drinking problem. How hard or how much did he drink? When he drink often, man, um, you know, he drink, what I say, more than five times a day. So he's, he's generally... Um, sometimes, sometime, may I tell you, I don't take this thing serious. You know, sometimes, um, when mother link him like in the morning, right? Him need a drink, right? So those days we used to ride the bike and things. So we used to pick him up and ride from the bike. We ride from the bike. When we reach at the street, we want the next drink. You know? Yeah, sometime, even the engineer officer, boy, Wally, go to call him my bike and go and drink. You know, so me talk to him about the drinking thing. You know, you can't have a friend and you not talk to your friend about it. 
you understand? And one thing, I love with him, when you talk to him, he listen. Was he still able to consciously record and you could see that he was in control of his faculties and he was not saying gibberish when he was recording? No, man. And one thing with him, I tell you, you see, when he my record, it come, we don't know if I, you see your mind is a strong thing, you know. We don't know, but just when in my record, you can't believe say, a man that we drink so much liquor, you understand, have so much energy, <laughs> you understand? Yeah, but I feel the drinking part of it, a lot of people turn him down and they criticize him. You know, they don't, when they should try to help him, I believe that at the, the, the most part took with his career. Don't fall. Mm. You know, because me I talk about great artists. This artist yeah, a great artist. You understand? Yeah, he make a name in the music industry, but he need help with these things. You understand? Mm. Me uncle can talk to him, but it need more than me to help him. You mm. understand? The only thing where I try to help him with, like produce sang with him to put him out to get him on the international level and that take him away from the clash thing you understand and bring him more out to the world make him maintain that thing there mm. you understand Fe, you understand get him away from the drinking part make, and him wife stress and all of them something there. you understand that him can come back to himself did you but think me, he, yeah but do you think he was too far gone for that to work no i know because these things when me i tell you we make the plan from our uh, ears you know mm -hmm. you know from when me i ride bike and everything that we are make the plan so why you are why you come back you understand and focus on the world because the world is big a lot of people out there you understand? So, this war war song and all of them stuff there. We need to do some songs that 30 years from now, the kids them can pick it up and play it. Mm -hmm. You understand? Some conscious songs. You understand? Some love songs. Some, you know, all different type of songs, you know? Because I think he get caught up in this war war type of something. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, I was planning you know i was planning to take him away from that mm. but how did he see himself as an artist did he see himself as a clash artist or as an artist who just record lots of music and put them out there you see he see himself as a versatile artist ah. <laughs> when it comes to clash in dealing with it and if i record in, in dealing with it but because the business so you know him kind of just stick to the clash part right because when i tell you something you know how me start, may I just, we have to go back for mercy, but may I just chief little. Mm -hmm. Even me, myself, have to go up on a stage show because when me see me go to studio and get a lock for me back then in the 90s, and me have the talent, I have to just steal the whole heap of show and prove to people that I have the talent. Mm -hmm. All of the top show, they may have to steal them and come down the line. With the headliner, them I steal it from the headliner, them and I saw me get for eat and my life changed. So you see the music thing with merciless him have to clash. You understand because the business is a serious business. You don't go to the radio station like that and a man play your song. You understand and that's why you see them we take reggae off a billboard and dance all off a billboard because them not hear the real music. The real artists them always I get shut out of the business. Mm. No bias to go into the business, but a real talk. Mm. Thank God for them. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Right? So you're going to complain and say, if Papa grow R and B and whatever and this and you just see people. If white people, you see other people like get Grammy out here from Jamaica, we have to just know so what if I will love them, we support them. Do you understand? Because I with them, because these guys are licking the real music, playing the real music. Do you understand? And them taking reggae to places, so you have to give them them credit. Don't sit and criticize. You understand when you are messing up your own thing. Mm -hmm. You know, 
Mm-hmm. It only Still, only if they could see it like that because they defend it, you know, vehemently, saying that no, we're not messing it up. The move, music has evolved; it's moved on, and people have moved on in terms of what they want from the music. That's their argument. In the nineties, I hear good music, you know, and in the eighties, I hear real music. Two thousand, I hear nice music. The early part coming up, but at this time now. You understand? I don't hear the real music that when a man talk it as him enter the first line out as on a, on a stage, you see the crowd a jump. You understand? The thing a water done. I see that, right? And a lot of people stop pointing fingers, start point, use the big finger and start pointing by yourself. Start from yourself first before you start finding it. It start here. First time, a man used to play a good song. Good songs, if you are giving money, you give money after that. But him still a play a song. You understand? If I give a one player and when him play it and him see him get a whole heap of a call, him start play it free. And once him bust that artist, right, the world, the world ain't going to know about him. You understand? And start giving work to do MC work. You understand? And play at uh, other event and whatever. So you're going to get work. But when you stick out and say, you want me to get money for play this good song, and you just type the song underneath your foot button, and you have everyone start following and do the same thing. We kill our own music when we do that. We, we kill. That's the truth. Kill the quality. Oh. Let, let, let's, let's come back to Merciless for, for, for a little bit. Yeah, that's Several what I was going to say. Out and they've complained that the industry has been very unkind to Merciless. They've not given him the kind of recognition or acknowledgement that he deserved as a very talented and a very good artist. To what extent do you agree with that, with them, saying that the industry did not acknowledge Merciless for his greatness? I think, first of all, politics in this thing here. So, politics, a lot of politics in music. Mm. And a lot of favoritism in the music. Mm. Right? Friend thing, right? And links thing. Right? If you is a man where always have the lyrics, remember, say, merciless manager always go out there and reach out to these people, right? And if him kill three or how much him want to kill out there, you understand? That is a big damper from team career. You understand? Because member in a three different fans, you know, mm-hmm. top fans to, you know, you have go against it, mm-hmm. right? So the fans, them, and go tens in themselves, you have this Jackie where them and that man and a friend see them way. Them now get you no justice. You understand? So a whole heap of politics in a music thing. So whole music it- thing, me hear a man say it. Mm-hmm. He say it worse than jokes thing, you know. A man said that, you know, and live what you may watch it. That's a weird, a real thing, you know. A whole heap of corruption in addition. Mm. You see, if a man have a plate of food and two men clash, and one man used to, him used to give one man the plate of food and the next man clash and win. Share the food if split it in a half, give the man will win half, and give the man will lose half. Them rather show out the man we lose. You understand? We win and say, you want me now. I size him and size up against my food. You understand? We want the food to come in because food that come from my hand. So it's a whole heap of thing in this music industry. Mm. So how, how did that play to the detriment of Merciless? How was he shut out of the business so that he was not able to get the recognition, get his music played. I mean, what happened? He told me, he told me that um, when he shut out of the business, you understand, like 
no song now play of fame. You understand? It's like him just a record song and I just him just like a waste some waste of time, a record song. Cause him do this whole heap of song to keep up. Because remember, you know, when him do this song when after sting, you know, you understand? I don't remember it go when I say something like oh falling and you know whatever falling at the war and whatever. You understand? I think after that song, you know, you don't have any other thing, you know. Who lose the, 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 the war, you know, at them, yeah, you hear about it. I kick up and go on, on the wave everywhere, you know. You understand? So I just feel like, you know, he did something wrong. So it, uh, he just have to just go abroad, you understand? Go also to deal with whatever I'm dealing with, you understand? Musically, like do some dub plate and do some stage shows, and you understand, and come back to your back for your house, and all of that did crash for him. Mm. So that caused a lot of things. So, was he, ever, was he ever a taxi driver abroad? Was he ever? Huh? Was he ever a taxi man? Never, never a taxi driver. Big rumors, they must spread for the man. May I show you people wicked and lying? I'm gonna tell you about this. You know? These things are missing happen to merciless. It proved to me that people wicked and lie. You have good people out there, you know, don't get me wrong. But you have bad people where it's a joy to see them see your fall. When he went to foreign to try to help himself, right? Because what are going on in the music business? There's a room I say my run taxi. Right? Till them have to clear up that and say, no, him not run taxi, I lie a room of that. Right? And after that, you hear man say, in come back to Jamaica, man I say, quote, man I say, this, man I say, crack up. So, pay a room back a room. But people are saying that he died of a broken heart. Well, I believe that um, more the weird on the autopsy different still be, be fine up. I really am about um when you say a broken heart now, I think him no heart really broke for see how the business treat him. Mm. You know, the business really treat him bad and him wife again, you understand? All the rumors again, everything is like everybody just put him in down, beat him in down. You know? So you see, under the stress, when you see merciless a clash after him kill the tree, you know, all of these clash up are, are stress, you know. When he come back to Jamaica, are stress, he might try to build back himself. You know? So when a man try to build back himself and you put a man in a clash, you understand? It's like you put him down and not really him that, you know, where the clash with the tree. Mm -hmm. Because he might go through a whole heap of stress, you understand? You see it? So you have to drink hard. Mm. But then it was also said that he was depressed. Is that true? Did he suffer depression? Well, I couldn't tell that because he talked very conscious. You understand? He younger talk about his wife. You know, so I don't feel him reach the level of a deep depression. Probably he might reach on the edge. Uh, you know? But him on the use the thing, the um the liquor mm -hmm. really coat it to keep him that him not go deep in deep depression. Mm -hmm. What do you think the industry can learn from this experience of merciless in terms of not recognizing artists who have done very well, who've made stunning contributions to the history and to our musical heritage? Do you think this is a wake up call? Yeah, I think this is a wake up call, and I think what can done with uh, the disc jackets can't play every artist one but if i have a one time man yeah man i look a one spin from him have good song you understand even if you not get no money for his song and from this song but then you love this song give this song a play man you understand you make it be heard because remember our, our culture this you know, our music you know you understand? 
give the thing a justice, but if you are say you want me now, you're not get no money and hold on for this song and have this song and I need to put back down. You are killed with culture. And when other people out in the world now, all of Japan, the Japanese, them pick it up and do a number one song where I mash up the world now. You know, them are going to criticize them. You understand? When we have a goal and diamond here, and we are kill it and I hide it. So I feel it's a wake up call for them now. For no say, here I am. Them for do better in the music industry. Mm. So you think that one way forward is for DJs to start playing the music of artists who have made good contributions, significant contributions to the industry. Yeah, man. What else should one, be done? What else should be done? Yeah, so yeah. One thing to acknowledge the artists by playing their music. What else could be done to ensure that these artists they're acknowledged fully for what they've done, their contributions to the industry? So first one, as you said, DJs start playing their music. What else should other people do? What else should be done? Yeah. You know, we as people, because we're not talking about the chat, we are talking about everyone. Seem like all oh, merciless dead and everyone a blast things from Facebook and social media and say all different type of things and just forget views and whatever. We can say some good things too, you know, and try to help one another, you know. We're in a stress, you know. You understand? You know, we, you know, if you see some things where some people are blast. And something, something where them a, a blast. It's not really um some song we are talking about chopping and whatever and man a shot man and kill man and all different type of something. Them a blast those type of thing. You understand? Blast a thing when you see a person need help, right? And you see the person have the talent. You understand? But them said the put down the person, don't the person at the rubbish pan. But them said the market is demanding. They said the market is demanding that. Is that the people who are here killing and and the woman frock and all them people and, and Molly and all them yeah, Is that the people who are here? Is so the people them say. So them say, but I know where we say. Because look on coffee. Coffee come with some nice conscious song and don't she it blow up? Mm, she not kill nobody. She not kill nobody. Whatever with your mouth. And whatever, and she not money. And she not big up no molly. You understand? She not do say any of them things there. And don't she reach far till she get Grammy? So mm. that show you say our mind. Some people they to cover up certain things. Them go on like say you want and cover up this in the past. At this brother eat from you know. I, no, I, hear that, I, hear that, I hear that she has connections. She knows people in high places, and that's what's getting her far. So there's no, no, no like that. A, lot of, mm. a lot of artists, my brother, don't do their research. They don't search from in the 80s and the 70s and do them the, 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 the real reggae music and dance. You know, a lot of artists is just the bling and they want to be like the rap artists and they want to wear their pants trapped down here. So you understand? And they want, you understand? Them I live a life with them packet full of money and all of them thing there. Them not think about the real music. Coffee is, I don't know this girl, you know. You understand? But I can tell you because I listen to her interviews, right? And um she said she do her research. Super cat and a whole heap of artists. And when she mentioned some name, me have to set up. She did her research. <laughs> yeah. So that's why you hear the type of music where she record. You understand? You understand? But when you do the work and you do your research and you make it happen, because you're the we are ahead of people who now do them research. Right? So when you make it happen now, you're going to have some people in the classroom a grumble and I say, oh boy, I chose she brown. Or I chose she of that. And I chose she this and that. You understand? Yes. But they don't know that quality music, see, even if you kill it at Jamaica and you put it out in our world, we take all 10 years to rise by itself. But it was somebody right. would pick, mm -hmm. pick up that music and start playing it, and then 10 people hear it and start playing it, and it, lead, it develop. 
Right. I just hope that, you know, that it merciless had to be the sacrificial lamb, if I can look at him like that. I hope his passing and what happened to him, his story, his experience, will help to get people to look at things in a different way and start providing opportunities for these artists to have really committed themselves and their lives to contributing to our musical heritage and just give them some big up, play their music so that they can sell some records too. And they can a real thing, mm. real thing, mm. real thing, because you know how it feel you're putting in a lot of work, right? The record from shoulder to shoulder and every rhythm, with the tune I release for you. And you send your songs to radio station out here. And when you look at people abroad, play your song and I cherish your song and I jump up abroad and the distracted them just I look so. Well, they need like money. Them they need money. You have encouraged them, man. <laughs> <laughs> you get what I mean, sir? Yes, sir. So these are the things where you see merciless of faith. Right. But with me... Of the name? Yes. But the ratings. The ratings, yes, sir. Like the ratings... Them now nah look on it. Them now nah look on it like that. But just before we finish off now, what is the latest that you can tell us about Merciless's Merciless's situation? I mean, uh, any anything about autopsy, funeral arrangements, dead yard, grave digging, all these kind of things. I mean, what can you tell? Is there any latest news? Um, I saw on his page, right? They said no go funding. So anyone put up and say, boy, go funding, nothing don't go so. You understand? If, if funeral and everything, well, take care of that. You understand? Yeah. So I saw that on his page. Mm. And there's no funeral right? announced yet. Is there anything like that? No. It, I don't heard of it yet. And no autopsy report or anything? No. no. But as soon as um as soon as the world will know, you understand what really happened. Right. You know? Right. Hitman Wally, yeah, it's 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 really a, a big one. It's an eye opener, as we said, in terms of understanding how some of the artists feel about how they're being treated. They're not getting their music played. They're not being acknowledged for the hard work that they've done for the industry and for our musical heritage. And we just hope that this experience here now and what's going on with Merciless will help to sensitize us a little bit more about this aspect of the business so that yeah, it, can, man, um, it can be fixed. Yeah. yeah. I think, you understand, we can have a better music industry and we can have a better nation, right, um, if we right, come together and work together, you understand? You see, the female artists, them need ear play to. You understand? Not the male artists, them alone. So we have to come together, balance the thing. Right. You understand? You can't play everybody, but balance the thing, yeah. you know? And, and, and as much as you can, you know, including... Because this is our music, you know? This yeah. is our... This, this is Jamaican music. If you go to foreign, everybody I look out for them country. Right. You see? Right. If you go to America, if you're not radio station, I call right in America. And them said, you know what? Well, we don't play Jamaican music. And we all play um, American music. Yeah, hip hop. Mm. It's hard for me to boss a Jamaican artist in our country. Right? right? Some big radio station. Right. So, that tell you something so we as Jamaican we have to play with one music and don't know the crap and look you understand our art. yeah very good so I hope this debate will continue man because it's a very important yeah. we have to preserve our own and we have to look after our own people but um, Hitman Wally before I let you go man I always like to ask questions from this book it's called Reggae Larger Than Life The Ultimate Reggae Music Fun and Games Book it's written by myself currently available on Amazon available in Jamaica at Ashby's Pharmacy 160 Old Hope Road in Kingston it's also available at the University of the West Indies Bookshop that's at the Mona Campus in Kingston also if you're more into apps the Android version of the app is available from the Google Play Store. Just type in Reggae Larger Than Life Fun App. You download it and you go and enjoy the questions. So I've selected two questions for you, sir. So you ready, sir? 
Okay, all right. No problem, sir. <laughs> all right, sir. All right, the first question says, Warlord is to bounty killer as Warhead is to? The options are Capleton, Beanie Man, Merciless, Ninja Man. Yeah, Warlord is for bounty killer. Warhead is for Merciless. You know, Fireman is for Capleton. Dan Gargan is for Ninja Man. All right, the man take me far, so you, you, you the man know the whole story. <laughs> All right, sir. So that, that, that was merciless, man. Yeah, we, we, we big up the man. Right, so the second and last one says, can you remember which late dancehall pioneer had hits with the following records? Wheelie Wheelie, Visit of the King Selassie, Sunday Dish, and the History of Jamaica. The options are Early B, Supercat, Papa Levi, and Ika Mouse. Yeah, early B man, Sunday dish, uh, one wheel wheelie make a wheelie one. Yes, wheelie, man. <laughs> yes, man. one wheel wheelie. Yes, yeah. I know them thing, man. Well, that's uh, those quizzes were taken from this book. It's Reggae Larger Than Life, the ultimate reggae music fun and games book. Available at Amazon, also available in Jamaica at Ashby's Pharmacy, 160 Old Hope Road in Kingston. It's also available at the bookshop at the University of the West Indies Mona Campus. If you're more into apps, the Android version of the app is available from the Google Play Store. Just type in Reggae Larger Than Life, fun app, download it, and you can make the questions. Very, very much so. So Hitman Wally, it was really good spending some time and checking out, you know, looking back at your memory of merciless how much you've well, you know time you spent together how you know what you've been through together as brethren and them kind of things and how you started your early recording days how he started out and all of that just a bit sad to see how it all finished the story but i hope yeah. that go in vain that story that whole experience the way it was played out and that the industry can see that the artists they're humans as well and they've got needs they want their music played they want their acknowledgement for the hard work that they put in and all they require is just play the music you know, book them yeah, on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we just want to say why we want to be a family for the industry. You know, all this Jackie, you understand? We are a family. We are one. We are same flesh and blood. You understand? Let's work together, man, and build with music. Definitely. You understand? That's all me as a man. Well you know? said. Well said. <laughs> and I hope, I hope we can see that coming out of this experience well that's all we have time for in this edition of the stargazing with sean ken show our special guest was dancehall artist well the legendary dancehall artist hitman wally please remember to subscribe to the stargazing with sean ken youtube channel like and share the videos and leave a comment until next time this is sean ken saying thanks for joining us see you soon